You know, on the day of judgment, there will be a person. This person will come on the day of judgment and he may not be in such a great believer, you know, a normal kind of believer, but he will have all these actions, a huge list of actions. And he will say to Allah, he will say, oh Allah, I didn't do all these actions. Where did all these actions come from? The Prophet ﷺ said that he will be told that your children after you died did istighfar for you. And because of their istighfar for you, Allah elevated your stages. So for those whose parents have passed away, you want your parents on the day of judgment to have good action. Maybe we didn't fulfill the rights of our parents. And nobody can really fulfill the rights of their parents. Nobody can. In the time of Ibn Umar, he was doing tuaf around the Kaaba. And this man came and he's carrying his mother on his back. And he came all the way from Yemen. And he said to Ibn Umar, he said, Oh, Ibn Umar, I carried my mother all the way from Yemen to do Hajj. And as you can see, I am doing tuaf around the Kaaba with her on my back. Have I fulfilled her right? Have I fulfilled the right? Ibn Umar radiallahu anhu said, you know that one ah, that one pain, that one scream while she was going through labor, you haven't even fulfilled that. So do istighfar for your parents. For on the day of judgment, your parents will come and they will say, where did all these actions come from? And they will say, your son, your child did istighfar for you. The Prophet ﷺ said, a person when he dies, he leaves three things behind him. Sadqa jariya, ilm which people benefit from, waladun sali yat'ulahu, and a pious child. And that pious child, what does that pious child do? That pious child makes dua for the parents. That you make dua for the parents, Allah hears that dua. Allah eases and elevates the status. You give sadaqah jari on behalf of your parents and your parents receive it. Subhanallah.